Hello, this is Julian Bucknell, the CTO of Developer Express, and in this screencast I'm going to show you some of the animations we built in to DX Grid for Windows Presentation Foundation, our newly announced um, beta. I'll be using the demo program that comes with the grid rather than trying to build an application straight off. Um, so here we have uh, one of the pages of the demo. And it shows the, the current data row. What we have here is the grid and underneath a panel which shows more information about the, the current row. And the animation I want to show here for the moment is as I use the up-down keys on the keyboard, notice how the panel fades in and fades out. Notice also the, um, the fading of the, the column headers and I can click on a column header obviously to do things like uh, sort by column uh, I can resize the columns as well and so on and so forth. The next page I'd like to show you is the grouping page so we can have a look at how the animations work with grouping. I'll just close the tools panel here, we don't need that. Here we have grouping by country and city by default on this particular page I can obviously click on the icon to expand a group. So I'm expanding Argentina here, and there's only one city, Buenos Aires, and I can click on that to expand into the detail records inside Buenos Aires. I can also use the, the keyboard, obviously, um, to collapse and uh, to expand. Here we go, and expand. Notice as I collapse and expand how the, uh, the animation works, it just slides the, the remaining groups up and slides them out of the way. It's interesting with this particular page to show um, the different themes that we have built into this particular demo. Uh, one is the abyss theme here, abyss theme I should say. And notice how the corners are now more rounded. The first row of the detail items is actually rounded. The second row and third rows and so on and so forth are not. And if I manage to drag down to the bottom of the, uh, this particular detail set, the last row, again, it is rounded to give that nice pleasing effect. And on the green side, the same, exactly the same data, but a slightly different look and feel. The next one I want to show you is our rotated cards layout. Here we have a, a card layout for um, the records in this particular table. But the cards are uh, individually rotatable, so as I move the mouse cursor over a particular record, a particular card, I can then click on the card to rotate it and click back. And finally, uh, what I want to show you is the animation with regard to uh, one particular item here. I'll close the tools panel. Uh, this is um, a row template. Each row essentially, when highlighted, uh, when focused, um, grows uh, to show more information. So here's the first row here, and down here we have another row, another row, another row, and on the first row, the focused row, uh, we have some more information based upon this particular row. The nice thing about this particular animation is, is if I use the keyboard to move between the records, it appears as if the records are, are sliding in and out like a, like a Rolodex or, or some other thing like that. So, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the animations and I hope they come across in the screencast. And um, do please call on us at TechEd, at our booth in TechEd, uh, June 3rd through 6th. I'd be delighted to show you this in the flesh. Thank you.